Mrs. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Please, you can have a seat. <sighs> can I offer you something? That's all right. So, I can see your dreams have come true, right? Thank you, sir. And once again, thank you for giving this house to Mark. Oh, no. I didn't give this house to Mark. I gave this house actually to you. And finally, this house will be willed in your name. Yeah, yeah? Anyway, um, we have a trip to make, three days trip. And so I want you to go and pack your things. We are leaving this evening. What? This evening, sir? But sir, you know I just got married and I can't leave Mark like that. Uh, how would you know if Mark is ready to release me? Oh, don't you worry your pretty head over that. 
I've already spoken to Mark. And Mark has actually agreed for you to make the trip with me. Yeah. So, that's your ticket. That's the ticket. Take. And uh, make sure you're on time. Tonight. Don't you worry. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. Can you please show me out? Is getting cold. Are you crying? Talk to me. Why? Well, mother, I am not comfortable living in this house. <laughs> Who cares if you are comfortable living here or not? After all, this is not your house. Instead, you say I have bought a house for you and your husband. What is your problem? Mom, yeah. look, I don't want to live here. Neither do I want to live in Max's house. Look, you Olivia. Mr. Edith, I have opened a supermarket for me. Bought this house for us. So what is your problem? My problem is I am just not comfortable. Right. That is my problem, mother. The okay can't do work, right? The work he can't do, he work right. He pay us and pop a big check. Who owns that side of the bindi? Well, mother, if you care to know, Mister Dusa has been making advances of me ever since I started work with him. I look, at, I don't want to live my life like that. Olivia, wait in a mouse. He's better than that stinking mark of yours. So they ask him, Papa. I've had an ocean. Wait till the ocean. Yes. I can't believe you're talking like this. Why? You can't describe my Mac as a stinky one. He's stinking if you don't know. What are you saying? Wait till I'm ocean. Wait in the mouth. Oh, Olivia. We take Kenya problem. As some papa. Hey, as some papa. I feel as if I'm a fee. I feel like I'm a pemenya. Oh my god. I can't, I can't believe you're talking like this. Kappa said, then I'm in here. But, mommy. So, you say, Mr. D. said, you're fast in the mouth. I don't care. Or your mark will find it today. Olivia, then how? Huh? She? Look, just look at me. What's that? Me who told me? Olivia, me who told me? Olivia, then, who person me saw come bring me on? Huh? Olivia, who person me saw come bring me on? I'm shocked. Who you shocked, sis? And you're some papa. And mom, person me catch you. My wife came here with me on them. And you missed it, and yes, we'll be free here, Kono. I will catch them, Mark. Sorti. Olivia, do here. Ooh. 
What is the matter with you, Olivia? This is not the first time you are traveling with my uncle. What is wrong, sweetie? Ah. Please, sweetheart. Ah. This is not the first time you are traveling with my uncle. What is wrong? You don't understand. That's not fair. How could he ask me to travel with him just after three days of our wedding? I can't believe you're saying this, Olivia. This man has done so much for us. Giving you a good paying job without even me asking for that. That's a fair shocker. I know. Right. I know. And do you think I don't know all the good things he has done for us? Do you think I don't know? Huh? Giving us this house, giving my mom a house, buying you a car, the most of all, spurs in our wedding. Mac, think, I, think, I, I, do you I, think all this is in the line of duty? Sweetie, I understand, but, but what? This man, uh, Mark, you don't see it. You don't see it as I see it. This might be his game plan. And I know he's doing all this so we can say no to any request he makes. I understand, my dear. But this is just a way of thanking the man for, you know, the good things that he has done for us. And my uncle is hardly a good man as I'm seeing him right now. Possibly you brought all the luck to me, you know, sweetie? Hmm? <sighs> it's just that I'm going to miss you. That's it. I know, I'm going to miss you too. But three days, you'll be back okay, for good. I love you so much. Don't cry. Please, remember I love you so much. I remember know. that, okay? I know. I know you love me. Sweetie, please, don't cry. Three days of work and you'll be back to me for good, for good, forever. You remember? <laughs> Come on, Uncle will be waiting for us at the office. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Where's my hand at? Oh, it's there. What were you telling me about you not seeing your mental? I've missed my period. When did you notice this? A week before my wedding. How am I sure it's not Max? What are you saying? Listen, it is not Max. Mark and I have never had sex. That's childish talk. Rubbish. Listen to me, it is saying. Do not stretch it as more than necessary. Olivia, one simple, harmless touch can never make you pregnant. You know that. And have you forgotten you also made a promise to me that you would do everything in your power to make me get married to the man I love? Have you forgotten? Of course I've not forgotten. But pregnancy was not part of the bargain. So in essence, what are you saying? Better not spoil the evening by telling her to commit an abortion. I would rather enjoy three days with her in here and break the news on the third day. I'm talking to you, Odyssey. Oh, Olivia. Don't worry your pretty head over this. Oh? Hmm? Well, I shall find a way around this. So are you saying I keep it? Come on, don't let us argue over this. Hmm? We just have to be together, enjoy the evening and then... Uh... Ah. I just finished with Chief. 
Are you the one on the night shift? Yes, please. All right, I've administered these drugs. At least he'll rest for an hour. But very soon he'll feel hungry. Please find something for him to eat. Yes. since secondary school days. <laughs> you don't know what I go through in the theaters. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me a break. That's what you always use as an excuse. When is your dad coming back? Oh, that man. <laughs> He's highly unpredictable. I don't know. I've been two, three days time. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, I see. Ah. Did he go alone? Olivia, of course. You know, Olivia is his personal secretary. She takes every trip with him. Ah, I see. Oh. <laughs> that girl must be very fortunate, you know. <laughs> well, I have to go and check up on... Who? Oh. Chief Thompson. So soon? Hey, how is that man faring? Is he getting better now? He's okay, he's okay. I have to go and administer some drugs today. Wow. Mm. I can see that man must be filthy rich. He must be paying through his notes. <laughs> getting you flying and out just to check on him. Well, mm? that's my job. I'm just doing my job. Uh, well, what can we say? Man, can I What? <laughs> to kill boredom. I don't have any plans this weekend. I'm just home. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, that'll be nice then. I'm cool. <laughs> okay, let's finish up. All right. Say that and say it again. Hi. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, good evening. Um, how's Chief Thompson? Happy to die yesterday. Wow. Just tell him Dr. Franklin is around to see him. We are going to eat at the restaurant and I'll be back soon. Okay. them right now.
You are sad. Why? Hmm? I guess you're going to be happy. For what? Well, I came to tell you. Finally, your dream has come true. What are you talking about? Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm pregnant. Ooh! Ready with that? Well, I'm not pregnant for my girl. My brother miss it too. I will never do it. I won't do it. This was an initial plan. Huh? You told me everything was under control. Everything. Everything is under control. Everything is. This is the only solution I have right now. And that's what I'm giving you. Come on. You want to be married to my nephew and still have my child? Think, Olivia. Oh, you should have thought. You should have thought when you're tormenting for sex. When you're taking me to different hotels, oh. you should have thought! Oh, oh, oh. Olivia, mind you, you are in my house, you are shouting. I don't care! You don't care? You needn't come here in the first place to tell me this. You should have come to the office. You, you, should, you should also have an intro. Now you listen to me, Edison. I am not going to do any abortion, alright? I'm not going to take this baby off my belly. Whether you like it or not. And if care is not taken, I am going to inform your wife sooner or later. All right? Okay? So listen, 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 listen. You better think of a different option. I mean, a good one. Ah, just stop it there. You? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me, Olivia? Let me tell you, I treasure my wife, my kids. And I love them so much, more than any other person in this world. And more than anything in this world, let me tell you. So you just can't stand in front of me here eh, and come and threaten me that you are going to tell my wife this one. You can never stir up my family. You can't derail my whole family. Oh yes, I have done everything for you. All the things I, want, I, I wanted, I had it from you. And I did what I needed to do for you. And I'm giving you an advice. And if you're willing to take it, just take it. And if you can't take it, just go to hell. Are you telling me to go to hell? Oh yes, go to hell. All right. What did you say? All right. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah. We shall shall see. We shall shall see. Hello? Yeah, mom, where are you? Hospital? Oh, okay, for checkup. Ah. For once I got scared. I hope everything is alright with you. Oh, okay. 
Hope to see you soon in the house. All right, mom. Love you too. Bye. Thank God. So, daddy had the guts to bring in Olivia into the house whilst mom is somewhere in the hospital. How? is not around. What is she doing here? What does she want? What sort of silly questioning is that? Are you forgetting something? That Olivia works for me and that she's been my, my, my secretary. Your bedmate, right? Your bedmate! Oh, Dad, I saw it. I saw it, Dad. Vivi, what are you talking about? Go to this hotel. At the restaurant, I saw you feeding her and kissing her. Dad, how could you do this to us? How could you? How could you take your own nephew's wife? How? And why? I hate you. I hate you, Dad! I am disappointed in you! I've always looked up to you as my role model. You shattered my dreams the very night I saw you with Olivia. Dad, I can assure you, Mom is going to hear of this. I'm telling you. Fifi!
go. If you squirrel more, the pregnancy is yours. Oh. oh, so I knew it. I knew it. But I know you can do something about this. And we are good friends and we've been friends since childhood. You can do something for me. The catastrophe this pregnancy can bring my family is just unimaginable. My wife shouldn't know about this. Eh? Not even my nephew. You see, the matter is, the lady in question is my nephew's wife. Holy smokes. That is why. Why what? Why what? Why do you give me that righteous look as if you don't make mistakes? Come on, we all do. Okay, no problem. I'll do it. But does anybody know that you brought her here? Hmm. Hmm. None that I can think of. Why do you ask? Friend, do something for me. Come on, do something, do something, do something for me, do something. For how long do you want to be like this? Hmm? I've called your mom. I think um, she'll be on her way now, huh? Hmm? And about the miscarriage, God will give us another child. Stop crying. Okay? I've prepared something delicious for you. I know what you like. Hmm? The, the thing you like, huh? Okay. Eat something. My darling. I think that is your mother. Let me check you out. Oh, welcome, Mama. Yeah, thank you, Mama. How are you? I'm okay, Mama. Anyway, sorry for your mistake. Eh? Mm -hmm. God will provide us another one. Thank you, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Very soon. She's here. To go to the studio. Please take good care of her for me. Hmm? Yeah? Oh, I love you. Come on. I love you too. See you, okay? Have a nice day, my son. Okay, okay. Olivia. Everything will be alright. Eh? Olivia, please talk to me. Mommy is here. Eh? Open your eyes and talk to your mama. Then, eat a little for your mommy. Stop crying. Yeah? 
Mom, you made me do this. You made me do this, and now I'm bleeding. Please forgive me, Olivia. Please. As for her own good. Please. Dad, do you want to kill yourself? You are drinking too much. I don't know you like this. Drinking too much? It's because of the circumstances I find myself in. Fifi. That's why I asked you to come so that we can talk things over. Look, Fifi, you're my son. And I'm your father. This is man to man. A father asking for a son's forgiveness. Fifi, it's indeed true. I did what you, you saw. I want this to remain between you and I. You know how dicey your mother's health can be? And if she should hear this news, it might uh, send her to an early grave. And you know this is something that I don't want. Don't want? Really? Dad, why would you stoop so low? How could you do such a thing? Dad, how and why? Fifi, you're a man. You're also growing up. But I can assure you and I can tell you. Sincerely, it's the devil. The devil used me as a playground. I was taken unawares. Look, Vivi. Now look at me. But you see, you are the only one to help me keep this family together. Please forgive me. Well, I hear. Are you sure? Fifi, are you sure? If you don't stop this, I'll walk off you. Olivia doing? She's doing well. Okay. I really need you to take good care of her. Olivia? Yes, madam. I will. Because the last time the abortion she carried out was a very major. Mm -hmm. Olivia? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll do just that, okay? Alright. Take care. Bye.
Mom, you look worried. I hope she didn't bring any bad news. Very bad news, my dear. I think a nurse at the hospital has been telling Mrs. Edusa news. As I'm speaking right away, Mrs. Edusa knows about your abortion. Oh my God. Oh my God. I managed to clear the air, but I don't think Mrs. Edusa was okay with it. I suggest you call Mr. Edusa. information about my nephew's wife. Yes? She is my nephew's wife. You know it. So stop pretending. And I am so much disappointed in you. How can you tell me Olivia came to the hospital for an abortion? No way. It's a lie! Now listen to me and listen good. I just returned from her house. She is quite all right after a miscarriage she had and not an abortion. Okay? Now, Anne, check your records very well and stop spreading that wrong information about her. Okay? Nonsense. What is the meaning of this? I mean, I mean, why? There's no way Olivia will go there for Hello, Mark. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. okay. Um, is my uncle in? Mm, no. Uh, he stepped out of the office not quite long ago. Uh, do you have an idea where he has gone to? Mm, not really. Anyway, how is madam? It's been quite a while since she came to the office. She's not feeling too well. Oh, sorry for her. Anyway, send my regards to her. I'll do that, sir. I'll okay. do that. Thank oh, you so much. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. went out to see Auntie Mavis. What's up with you? Okay, thanks. Hey, so what wait. Could you please tell me what the matter is? What's going on? I just met with Anne. You mean Miss Anne? She told me Dad brought Olivia to the hospital for an abortion. Her 
fool that has an evidence. So that went that far. Fifi, how do you mean? Sarah, I knew about that affair with Olivia. What? you know this and decide to keep it to yourself? I mean, how, how can I do this to us? I knew about it recently. I mean, how can you do this to us? look, I only traveled with Franklin on his numerous trips. It was only once and we happened to be eating in a hotel restaurant where Dad and Olivia were also kissing and feeding each other. Oh, you saw them kissing? And you think keeping it away from me and mom is going to solve the problem? No. Dad, Dad confronted me and pleaded with me to keep this a secret. Look, he has promised that he's not going to repeat it. Fifi, why? I mean, why should Dad do this to us? I'm, I'm disappointed in you. Why should you decide? I mean, to keep such a secret from us. Laura, listen. I had to do it. So as to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it so as to protect the love and peace within this family. Say what? How is mom going to feel when he hears this? Yes. You know about mom's ailment, right? How will she feel? I mean, how Say can that do this to us? Say what? You know about mom's ailment, right? You know about her BP and all that. If she gets wind of this, know what's going to happen. I'm just, I'm just disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in that. How can that happen to fair with Olivia? To the extent that getting pregnant for him. Mom could be working in Sewa. Look, listen, I beg you, Sewa. I want you to promise me that you're going to keep whatever you've heard to yourself. Dad has promised that he's not going to repeat. Why does he want to spoil the beautiful family? <laughs> Stop giving me attitude. I know you are hurt because things didn't work out between us. But I apologized. Apologized indeed. Anne, don't walk out on me. I came to see you. To see me? <laughs> what a surprise. It's about my wife. You told me, Sister Edu said, that my wife came to the hospital to have an abortion. <sighs> and please, forgive my errors of the past. For the sake of the love that we had together, please help me. I need to know what is going on. Please. Mark, I have nothing to tell you. Whatever happened between you and I is in the past now. So leave me alone. I have lots of work to do. Uh, what should I do?
serious? Ah. All right, okay. All right, just calm down. I will go and see Dr. Owusu and ask him exactly what happened. And then I'll get back to you. So you, you just keep calm, keep calm. Okay? Yes. Okay. Huh? ill and I came here earlier to seek permission for her to be off work for a few weeks oh I see and uh, has she seen a doctor yet I don't know what to believe anymore uh, believe I don't understand Olivia came home the other time looking so pale claiming uh, she had a miscarriage in a bit to see you. I went to your house and overheard your wife on the phone with Nurse Anne, claiming she rather had an abortion. About what? Huh? What are you talking about? Is this a kind of a joke? My God, I'm so weak and devastated. I don't know what or who to believe anymore. Apparently, Trying to get information from this nurse was futile. You know, I had this relationship with her. And the head of, you know, me leaving her for Olivia still lingers on her mind. Uh, but this doesn't give her the effrontery of uh, spreading false reports uh, about you to fulfill her quest to get back at you. Huh? I. Trust Olivia. She's a good girl. She's so upright from a good home. And she's the last person ever who would try to cause an abortion. Oh. Uncle, yeah. I'm so confused. Yes, just so confused. You know what you're going to do? Pretend you've not heard anything. Not even a single word. All right? And um, uh, just give me some time. I'll handle the situation myself. Thank you, Uncle. You've done enough for me already. Go. Thank you so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say it. This is nothing. All right, Mark. This is nothing. Seeing you are so tight, uh, I need to leave you for you to work. Yes, yes, yes. I have a lot to do today. A lot. Um, yeah. Uh, now listen to me. I want you Be a man. Hmm? Okay. And uh, don't let anyone hear about this. Sure, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle.
Um, nice man. Hello, is this Jack? Yeah, Jack, this is me. Yes. Jack, it's been a long time, and time is overdue. You got a job to do for me. Yes. A very important job. I'll call you to give you details. Okay. That's good. Your test will be ready very soon, okay? Oh, doctor. Thank you for coming to our rescue so quickly. Thank you very much. All right. I'm just doing my job. There's nothing to be thankful for. Then, doctor, I would like to rush home and get her some food to eat. I'll be back soon, okay? Feel free, please. Okay. Olivia, my dad, I'll be back soon, yeah? Okay. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Olivia. Yes, Doctor. You know I felt pain when I attended your wedding. Oh, I see. Why? I'd always had eyes for you. I wanted to date you. <laughs> but it's unfortunate your husband was faster. Fifi happens to be a friend. Yes. We were schoolmates. Oh, I see. Olivia, what is it with you and Mr. Dusay? Huh? What is going on between you and Mr. Dusay? Well, I... He, he's just my boss, and, and of course my in-law. And you're dating him? I know about what is going on. And Fifi knows too. Take it easy. You're on drips. Don't strain yourself. Olivia, you can confide in me. I'll help you. I'll do my best to help you. Talk to me.
Olivia. Olivia. Ah, c'est lui maintenant. Olivia. Ouais. Olivia, baby. Ah. Ouais, c'est lui. Ah, maman. Ah. Where have you been? Where's Olivia? Olivia wanted to have a bath. All of a sudden, I heard her scream. Sorry. Yeah. I rushed out there. There she was on the floor. Ah. I must see her right now. Okay? Let, let's go. Calm down. I will tell her to get her some food. Food? Forget about food. Why didn't you call me? I was so confused. confused. Yeah. So I called Dr. Franklin to come to our aid. Dr. Franklin? Anyway, let's go. Okay. I'm just here, right? Okay. What is wrong with my wife? Uh, what is it? Take this. Just take this. Take this. She's, she's okay. Mama, I don't know. She's fine. Are you she's sure? fine. Everything is under control. Are you sure? Darling, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Please. Be okay, please. Yeah, she'll be okay. Just sit. Just take a seat. She's stable. She's stable. Are you sure? Um, but have you met before? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was at your wedding. Really, really. Oh, thanks for the attention for my wife. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Can I have a word with you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm... All right. I'll be back, okay? All right. Okay. Extract my news. Oh my god. Because Dr. Usa didn't do it well. He perforated my womb. My womb scared. I'm so scared. Olivia. I'm doomed. I've ruined my daughter's life. Olivia. Olivia. Then eat. Aren't you also eating? Mom, I don't feel like eating. You don't feel like eating? What is the meaning of this? Of late, your attitude at table is sapping my joy. I just don't understand what is happening. Tell me, where have I gone wrong? Mom, I said nothing. No, you can't tell me nothing. Mom, can I take my food into my room? No, you can't. Sit down, Sewa, with the food. I want all of us to be at the table. Now tell me, what is wrong? Is anything bothering anybody? Is anything bothering anyone? 
Really, ma'am, there's nothing wrong. Okay, fine. We will eat. Good. Then eat for me. Sweet aroma. Uh, I think I must also sit down to eat. Mm -hmm. Aroma is so sweet. Oh, thank you. Are you also leaving? What is wrong? What is the meaning of this? I should be asking you that. I must ask you that. No. There is something definitely wrong some way. Talk to you, please. What are you doing to me, Sewa? Baby, do say what do? Oh, Sewa, would you mind me? What is going on here, sweetheart? Listen to this scripture, it's working on me. What does it say? Galatians. Chapter 5, verse 19. It reads, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, mm -hmm. fornication, mm -hmm. uncleanliness, mm -hmm. lewdness, and it goes on and on and says, mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is for me. Mm. Sweetheart, if every man mm, can go according to such scripture, he will be so firm in the spirit and so firm mm -hmm. in this world. Mm. Oh. Honey, you know what? I'm proud of you and will always be. Because I've realized that out of your tight shadow, you know, you spend time with God. You read your Bible oh, yes. every night before you go to bed. Always. Always. You see, I need to. That is why God has made me what I am today. If God has blessed me and my family, especially my loving wife. But, Annie, on a more serious note, you need to tell me something. I'm completely lost in this house. Oh, yes, in this house. I am as well completely lost. It looks like Fifi and Sewa have something to hide from me. Oh honey, I'd rather you say us, not me. Because I have a feeling that you know what is going on. And all of you have chosen to hide me in the dark. Oh honey, why do you talk like that? Huh? Yes, that reminds me. I had an information that Olivia had gone for an abortion at the family hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mark came to me with the same information. Mark came to me with the same rumor. Mark? Yeah. Mark. Rumor? Yes. And when we investigated, we found out that Nurse Anne was the one who was spreading such dangerous rumors. Anne! Listen. Why would she do that? Oh, ask me again. 
but her information has it that she is Mark's ex-girlfriend and she's doing this to get back at him. Uh, it's so unfortunate. Um, I see. So, does she think telling the whole world that Olivia had gone for an abortion would do the harm? Mm. Probably, 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 mm. probably. But you know, my honey, mm. I gave Ness Anne a very, very strong warning. And I want to believe that the warning will work and sort things out. Good. Mm -hmm. uh. Good. I saw Olivia's mother and she told me Olivia had a, a miscarriage, rather. That's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Uh. I see. But please, honey, find a way of talking to the kids. Please. Because I don't know what is happening. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable at all. Please. Don't you worry. I'll do that. I'll talk to them. This is not a big deal. At all. <sighs> I think mom is getting very suspicious about this whole thing. Yeah? And it's high time we come out with it. We should tell mom everything. very appropriate if I mean, we keep this to ourselves. You know, I have promised that I'm not going to let anybody hear about it. Remember, you also promised me that you were not going to let anybody hear about it. Sewa? So, yes, I did. But I'm hurting badly. The thought of knowing and keeping this away from mother it's me so bad. How could that do this to us? Mom is so innocent. She doesn't deserve this. Well, that is more the reason why she shouldn't know anything. Look, Fifi, I guess you told Sawa. No, Anne told me everything. She even showed me Olivia's folder as evidence. Dad. How could you do this to us? I'm disappointed in you. You are so heartless. Enough! If you shout at me again, I will storm out of this room and tell mom everything. Sawa. So and where do you think you are going? Come here! I thought you were, you were going to be on your way right away when I called, but yeah. what happened? You kept so long in coming. I told you, man. I had to operate on someone. <laughs> <laughs> you and your operation. So tell me, how often do you do that? Man, you can't imagine. <laughs> I think it's becoming very rampant man, these days. You don't want to know. <laughs> Fee, yeah. this is against the ethics of our job. But I'll tell you who I operated on. Olivia. What? Olivia? What for? Well, what happened? You knew your dad's relationship with her. And he got her pregnant. <laughs> he took her to your family doctor for an abortion. Unfortunately, the doctor didn't operate on her well. What? What are you talking about? You mean a family doctor? So her womb was perforated. I was in the hospital one day and Olivia's mom called me. I had to rush to your house. I realized that she was bleeding. You guys were so close. 
Olivia. She was somebody I really wanted to date. But <laughs> your cousin crossed me. <laughs> that aside, I took her to the hospital and I ran a series of tests on her. And it came out that her womb was perforated. So I had to operate on her and extract her womb. I feel so sorry for my cousin, Mark. Mark, I pity him. Come on, drink up, drink up. What is going on? Ah, Mark, what are you talking about? What do you mean by what is going on? I want to know exactly what is going on. Ah, Mark, what, what kind of attitude is it? I mean, I'm surprised at what you're saying. You mean you don't know that your daddy is going out with Olivia? Fifi, everybody in the family knows. Something is going on, Fifi. I want to know the truth. Mark, it's true, my daddy is going out with Olivia, but Mark, get out. Mark, why? Get out! How do I, why do I get home? Fifi, get out of my car. Ah, Mark! Fifi, get out of my car, please. Get out of my car. Now, 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 now. Why, why are you driving like this? What is it? You! Why are you driving like this? I have to! Everything you've done was to get to my wife. You've ruined my life! The guilt! The houses! It was a ploy to get to my wife! You deserve to die. Oh! Oh, Mark! 